Hi students and welcome to this lecture which is based on partnerships. Now do you know which is the highest opening partnership in one day international matches? Of course, many of you would know the answer. But today we are going to study about the partnerships in business. Just as two players make a partnership and make runs for the team, similarly two or more than two partners invest money so that the business runs. In this lecture we are not going to go into the details of what is partnership, what are the different laws of partnership, but simply we are going to understand it in brief. What is partnership? What are the different types of partners? How the profits are shared between the partners? And through some sort of examples we are going to understand these concepts more clearly. So first of all let's try to understand what is partnership. A partnership is an association of two or more people who invest together to carry out a business. Partnership can be simple or compound. If the money invested is for the same time period, the partnership is called as simple and if it is for different time periods then it is called as compound. So now what is partnership? It is an association of two or more people who come together and they carry out a business. Now they make investments for the smooth running of the business. The partnership can be simple or compound. If we say that the money invested is for the same time period then the partnership is known as simple and if we say that the money invested is for different time periods then it is called as a compound partnership. Now partners can be two types a sleeping partner and a working partner. Now what is a sleeping partner? A sleeping partner is one who only provides capital into the business. So any partner who just comes out with the capital or who simply invests in the business is known as a sleeping partner. On the other hand working partner is one who also manages the business. So working partner is a partner who also invests but at the same time he also manages the business. The sleeping partner does not manage the business he simply invests into the business. This is the basic difference between a sleeping partner and a working partner. Now, now we have seen that partners invest in a business. But then the problem is how are the profits shared between the partners? This is what we need to focus. We are not going to focus into the working of business. But what we are going to look at is how are the profits shared between the partners. So the sharing of profits. There's a simple partnership and according to it, the profits are usually divided between the partners in the ratio of their investments. Now, what is a simple partnership? Simple partnership is a partnership in which the time for which the investment is made is the same for all the partners. So here simply the profits would be shared in the ratio of their investment. If a partner invests more, then he would get more share of the profits. On the other hand, compound partnership is a partnership in which the period of investment vary between the partners. So the ratio of sharing in this case depends on two factors, the amount invested as well as the duration for which it is invested into the business. So the ratio of profit shared would depend on two factors, the amount invested and also on the duration for which it is invested into the business. So this would be equal to the product of amount invested and the time for which it is invested. So profit would be directly proportional to the amount invested as well as the duration of time for which it is invested. So this was all about the profit sharing of partners. Let's see a few examples to understand it more clearly. Yuvraj and Sehwag invested Rs 90,000 and Rs 60,000 respectively in a business. Yuvraj was the sleeping partner while Sehwag managed the business. Sehwag got 25% of the profits for being the working partner. The profit for the year was Rs 60,000. How much does Yuvraj receive as profit? What is his return on the investment? So this problem says that Yuvraj and Sehwag invested Rs 90,000 and 60,000 respectively in a business. Now Yuvraj was a sleeping partner so he simply invested into the business. He didn't manage the affairs of the business. But Sehwag managed it on the other hand. So Sehwag becomes a working partner and Yuvraj was a sleeping partner. Because Sehwag was a working partner he got 25% of the profits. The profit for the year was Rs 60,000. How much does Yuvraj receive as a profit? And also we have to find out 
what is his return on the investment so let's look at the solution total profits for the year was 60000 now 25% is given to Sevak for managing the firm it is actually his fees for managing the business so the managing fees would be 60000 into 1 by 4 25% is nothing but 1 by 4 therefore that would be equal to 15000 now profits to be shared between Sevak and Yuvraj is equal to 60000 minus 15000 that is equal to 45000 so what we have done is we have simply deducted 15,000 from 60,000 because 15,000 is the fees that has to be given to Sevak for managing the firm. Now the remaining amount that is 45,000 has to be shared between Sevak and Yuvraj on the basis of their investments. Now ratio of profits to be shared would be 90,000 is to 60,000 and which is equal to 9 is to 6 because investment made by Yuvraj is 90,000 and the investment made by Sevag is 60,000 so this ratio is equal to 9 is to 6 therefore Yuvraj's return would be 9 by 9 plus 6 into 45,000 which is equal to 27,000 so Yuvraj gets rupees 27,000 for his investment made in the business this is his return now return on investment would be 27,000 divided by 90,000 into 100 which is equal to 30% so Yuvraj gets a return of 30% on his investment made in the business let's see the other problem it says that A, B and C enter into a partnership for a year A puts in rupees 2000 for the whole year B puts in rupees 3000 at first and increases it to rupees 4000 at the end of 6 months C puts in rupees 5000 at first and withdraws rupees 2000 after 3 months. What is C's share if profit is rupees 54000 at the end of the year? So this problem says that there are 3 persons A, B and C and they entered into a partnership for a year. Now A puts in rupees 2000 for the entire 12 months. The amount invested by A is rupees 2000. What B does is he puts rupees 3000 for the first 6 months and then he increases it to rupees 4000 for the remaining 6 months. C puts in rupees 5000 and he continues that for 3 months and after 3 months he withdraws rupees 2000 and the amount left is continued for the remaining 9 months of the year. We have to find out what is C's share if the profit is rupees 54000 at the end of the year. So. We need to consider money months of investment in such compound partnerships. This is a compound partnership because the amount as well as the duration varies between the partners. So what we do is we consider the product of money and month as a parameter to judge the ratio of investment. Let's consider this table. Now A invests rupees 2000 for 12 months. So money months would be 2000 into 12 that is equal to 24000. What B does is he invests rupees 3000 for the first 6 months and he invests rupees 4000 for the remaining 6 months. So his money months would be 3000 into 6 plus 4000 into 6 and that comes out to be 42000. Similarly for C he invests rupees 5000 for the first 3 months and later on for the remaining 9 months he invests rupees 3000. So the money months would be 5000 into 3 plus 3000 into 9 that is equal to 42000 so the money months for A is 24000 for B it is 42000 and for C it is 42000 the ratio of effective investment is A is to B is to C which is we are going to find out the ratio of money months so that is 24000 is to 42000 is to 42000 this ratio simplifies to 4 is to 7 is to 7 so this is the ratio in which the profits must be shared. That's what we get. C's share would be 7 divided by 4 plus 7 plus 7 into 54,000. 54,000 is the total profit earned at the end of the year. And so C's share would be rupees 21,000. Thus C gets rupees 21,000 at the end of the year.